guys, so tomorrow's Thanksgiving and in this video I want to talk to you about how I'm preparing for Thanksgiving and if you should cheat or not. Okay, so in preparation for tomorrow, today I'm going to be doing some glycogen depleting. I'm going to do my normal workout which is a light lower day, so I'm just doing lighter weights for squats. And after the workout, I'm going to be doing a little bit of cardio just to burn off some calories and deplete the glycogen a little bit more. And then for the rest of the day, I'm going to be keeping my diet relatively low carb. Tomorrow morning, hopefully I can wake up early enough to get a workout in, and then I'm going to do cardio again. Probably 15 to 20 minutes worth of um, Then I'll meet my family for the Okay, so what should you do tomorrow? Should you cheat or should you stick to your diet? I highly believe that you should stick to your diet if you have a deadline to meet. Now this deadline can be your sister's wedding or this deadline can be a competition. It doesn't matter, okay? Put yourself on a diet so you're accountable for following it. A diet is not supposed to be easy. Sometimes it is, but mostly it's not. So you're going to have to sacrifice some things. Now, if you're the type of person who's not under a strict deadline, and you're telling me that, and you're telling me, who cares? Just relax, you only live once, enjoy your time with your family. Okay, I understand that. I highly recommend that you eat at most up to your maintenance calories. Now, if you're female dieting on 1,300 calories, your maintenance is about Let's say your maintenance is about 1800. You should at most eat up to 1800 calories on your cheat. That extra 500 calories is a whole lot of food. That's an extra slice of pie on top of all the food that you're eating. There's no reason for you to have a thousand calorie surplus for the day. That is way too much food and that is very, very similar to binge eating. Just because you can eat doesn't mean you should go overboard. So there's absolutely no justification to consume 2,800 calories when your maintenance is 1,800. Willpower is self-control and it's what's going to get you to your goals. Willpower is when you don't want to do something and you still do it because you know it will benefit you. Your family and friends are not going to understand. They're going to question you. They're going to ask you why you want to look a certain way when you look fine right now. Why do you want to be this big? Why do you want to be this muscular? You're a girl, blah blah blah. You're not going to see your vision and you're going to meet people who are assholes and they're going to make you feel bad about yourself by saying, oh I don't care. I eat anything I want. Some people say that with the intention of hurting you. So, you just have to ignore that. Because it doesn't matter anyway because they don't look like anything. You have your physique in mind. You know what you want to look like. You know you want to be an athlete. So you have to train and eat like an athlete. So that is it. Have a happy Thanksgiving and hope you make wise choices. Eat your protein, lift your weights, and do your cardio. Bye.